so. Well, ladies and gentlemen, none of these things uh, that Affinity does would happen without the support of uh, some wonderful people. And uh, somebody I wanted to acknowledge today is Dr. Nain Wynne, who is the uh, director of Wynne Medical Services, and they have uh, given us the support to enable today to go ahead. Um, now, Ahmad, do we have we have a process? So, um, oh, could I? Uh, okay. Well, okay. Thank you very much. I'm allowed to do the honours, if I may. <laughs> I would like to present you this small gift from Ahmad's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay. Any other gifts? Ahmad. Please call the presenter. Ah, the presenter is Reverend Andrew Sempel. Yes, please. Oh, excellent. Thank you. So. Um, Reverend Semple is from St James Anglican Church in King Street and I believe you're going to present, you're going to do the honours. There are some traditions here, lovely traditions. So, uh, uh, yes, can we begin perhaps with a gift for uh, Professor Adams? Here we are. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you indeed. Of course this will go on the university register, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And now I would like to call on Mobina Ahmad, who is the managing editor of the Australian Muslim Times, which is excellent. So uh, if you'd like to come across here. In the middle. Thank you so much for giving us your insight. Oh, look, thank you very much. It's unnecessary but very welcome here. Thank you very much. Reminds me of the time I visited um, Istanbul in 2000. Yeah. Beautiful lamp reminds me of that as well. And uh, it's yeah. my pleasure and honour to invite uh, Ahmad Polat to come and speak on behalf of the Institute Foundation. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much, my cousin Mary. And good afternoon, everyone. As the executive director of Affinity Tech Culture Foundation, I would like to thank you all for attending the first of many law panels. This afternoon, it has been a privilege to host two distinguished law academics, Professor Jolyn Raleigh and Professor Michael Adams, as they share their insights on how future lawyers can learn and apply ethics within their legal practice. And our motto is the universal human values and the rule of, the rule of law. The universal, uh, universal human values comes from three layers, traditions, religions, and scientific testimonials. And also, the rule of law is necessary for everyone in modern time. And thank you, Professor Mary Krog. She's my cousin for facilitating today's program. We would not, uh, we wouldn't be able to run our programs without the tireless contributions of our advisory board members, such as yourself. I'd like to call on Professor, my new cousin Michael Quinlan, Dean of School of Law at University of Notre Dame uh, University, to present a gift to Professor Mary Crock. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Give yours to Michael. Yeah, then. <laughs> we could be here a long time. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Michael. Thank you, Mary. Before we conclude, I'd like to invite you to Affinity's upcoming events. And by the way, a huge thank you to the Medical Service to, for generously sponsoring today's program. Uh, later this month, we will be kicking off our Middle East lecture series with two highly esteemed academics the Lowy Institute's Dr. Roger Shanahan and Dr. Julian Drogon from Macquarie University, who will be presenting a lunchtime lecture on new power politics, confrontation and competition in Middle East on Wednesday, 28 March. 
The event will be facilitated by Quentin Dempster, contributing editor of, editor of the New Daily. Then on the, on the evening of Wednesday 4 April, we will be launching the Affinity A Plus Youth Lecture Series. This platform is truly one of a kind. It, it will see young speakers from diverse backgrounds coming together to discuss topics that are important to young people. The first session will feature the 2018 Australian Youth Representative to the United Nations, Amos Washington, who will be talking about youth leadership. The talk will be facilitated by Catherine Flores, senior reporter from Channel 10 News. Our discussion on the Middle East continues on Thursday, 5 April, with Dr. Noah Bessel from Macquarie University and Tarek El Isavi from the New South Wales Police Force Media Department. They will be talking about the Saudi-led war in Yemen. The second, our law panel series will be touched on the topic of diversity and the Australian Law School. This talk will take place on Thursday, 12th July, with Professor Michael Quinlan and Professor Tanya Sordin, law deans from Notre Dame University and the University of Newcastle, respectively. If you attend our events at the end of last year, you would have heard me promoting the International Festival of Language and Culture, which Affinity, MIT, Affinity and MIT College are proudly co-hosting on Saturday, 5 May, at the International Convention Center, Sydney. Now, I would like to show you a short 45-second video promoting the event. I warmly invite you to join us for this wonderful celebration of fun, festivity and diversity. You can find more information on this festival and all the events I have mentioned on our website. Once again, thank you for attending today. I look forward to seeing you again at another Affinities event. Thank you so much.